everybody seems to have an opinion as to why youth don't turn out to vote. Uh, and it seems to be a, a combination of being tuned out of politics, in other words, just not caring, politics doesn't matter to me, they're not talking about my issues, and being turned off that politics is somehow um, you know, a, a game that they don't want to play. Um, they're turned off because because they don't like the, 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 the coarseness of the debate or the rhetoric and so on. So we know it's a combination of those two, but fundamentally, they, they just con youth today conceptualize politics in a very different way than their parents did. And, and it really stems from not having experienced a, a, a sense of democratic insecurity the way that their parents and grandparents did. I mean, their grandparents grew up in World War II, um, went through World War II when democracy was really on the line. Um, in, 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 a, in a global uh, global war, and then their their parents have gone through uh, the Cold War in in its entirety, when democracy again was being pitted against some kind of a mortal enemy. Um, so since 1982 and the Charter, the establishment of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, we find that youth live in in an era era of democratic security like we've never seen before. So while it's understandable that they would take their vote for granted, for older Canadians, it's difficult for them to understand how you could do it. Well, they're able to pair it back. People under 30 are able to pair it back what their parents have been telling them and what textbooks tell them. It's their duty to vote. But when we ask them follow-up questions like, uh, would you feel guilty if you didn't vote the day after Election Day, we find that most youth would say, no, I don't actually feel guilty about it. So we get a kind of a rote response from them that voting is important, but they don't internalize that obligation in the same way that older Canadians do. So what that means is for policymakers, for activists, for political parties, people that really want to get youth engaged, it means speaking in a, in a different language. And that's part of what this series is about, is trying to learn the language of Manitoban so that they can connect with democracy in a better way.